Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB. This is Nish Kumar Singh and you are watching Agile Tester Certification. We are in chapter one and uh, we are going to move into the last topic of the first uh, topic on 1.1 fundamentals of Agile software development and that is early and frequent feedback, which is another aspect in this tutorial we'll be trying to understand about that what are the benefits and what are the characteristics of responding early to the client and having a consistent communication between the client and the development team. So generally, when you talk about the early and frequent feedback, it is very frequent and very common in agile development models, where we generally say that having a consistent and frequent uh, communication with the client generally helps you to understand that how well are you going ahead with the requirements. Now, generally, uh, when you talk about the uh, traditional models, we generally had the problems with communicating with the client and we used to only deliver the product or the client used to come to know what you are doing, almost like when it was close to the release of the product. And they may be, we get certain kind of surprises that you misunderstood the requirement. And of course, uh, the if it was a sequential model, it used to have a lot of uh, effort required to rework on the content. And of course, it required a lot of budget as the part of it to be involved. Now, generally, when you talk about Agile, we keep the customer always interacted in terms of early and frequent feedback, where we do not wait for even uh, like some part of the application to be ready. We just say that the very first sprint what you complete, the very first iteration, whatever you have done, you push it to the client so that the client gets an idea that what is that you are trying to do. And uh, we do that consistently where uh, every single iteration you deliver something to the client where the client comes to know that, okay, fine, this is what the progress is all about, is that you have misunderstood my requirement and it may really help you to get oriented back to the, you know, the requirements and uh, may not get deviated from what exactly the client is looking at. So you generally avoid all those surprises, what you can generally experience in a traditional approach. And also it helps reduce a lot of risk uh, throughout the process because you're keeping your customer uh, with, uh, you know, in a consistent way to keep in touch where the customer keeps on giving you inputs about what is more important for them, what is the quality characteristic they're looking at, and uh, you consider them from time to time. And of course, you can prioritize your task according to the client's input if they have any severe things to be incorporated uh, during the sprint, so you can welcome them and uh, prioritize it so that that can be delivered first. As you have provision to do that, we do it in several iterations, of course, that could be quite helpful to understand the same thing. Now, generally, we do this uh, in, in the effort of where we say that it is uh, Agile is an iterative incremental model. So every time you increment, you give something new to the client with the existing that, okay, fine, last iteration, we delivered uh, one module of this. Next iteration, I'm going to deliver two modules, including the previous one. So that's where we call it as iterative incremental model that every iteration you increment and generally it is done with a concept called as continuous integration, which we generally implement as a part of the agile. And generally all putting it all together, it really helps to understand that how we are doing it, are we getting deviated or is the client happy with what we are making or if there's anything we are missing or we do not have any clarity about, the client can give you a consistent feedback on the same thing as well. So generally, we just have uh, no uh, no kind of, you know, uh, we generally have a good transparency between the communication of the client and the development team and to make sure that they are consistently reported with inputs and they can again come back to us with several inputs to make us understand what is uh, the changes required, if in case any. Moreover, uh, there are quick feed uh, benefits uh, mentioned here about the early and frequent feedback uh, which should be followed or should be understood by anyone to uh, implement such practices within the organization that is avoiding requirements misunderstanding which may not have been detected until later in the development life cycle when they are more expensive to fix of course as you know one iteration may last up to two weeks or something then every two weeks every fortnight you are reporting to the client and the report will be given to the client and the client may come back to you stating that no, 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 this is not what my requirement is and you are getting deviated. So why don't you just fix it? And then we can very well entertain in the very upcoming requirement uh, iteration of the cycle. 
clarifying customers features request making them available for the customer use early this way the product better reflects what the customer wants of course that's one of the thing add on discovering isolating and resolving quality problems early you know from the early and frequent feedbacks you don't just surprise the client as well on the other side that this is what we have made for you and then we didn't consider something maybe we forgot then but of course you know we can explore things and during the runtime if we have a good communication between the customer and the development team of course the customer can look forward that okay what new we can add to this which they all they even didn't think about providing information to the agile team requiring its uh, productivity and ability to deliver of course it will be helpful to determine that how uh, we are going ahead. What is the schedule? Whether we'll be able to deliver it or not? Is there anything which is going to hold us back? So that could be another set of benefits which could be added with help of early and frequent feedback. Promoting consistent uh, project momentum. Of course, the pace. The pace of processing remains a very good here. The reason is uh, we have a fixed cycle and frequent responses. Communication is really good. So of course, having maintaining the good pace becomes easy by having such features within the development model. So keeping it consistent will allow you to deliver on time. So that's all from this tutorial team. Uh, it was just a small topic. We will be moving to the 1.2 in the next tutorial. In case you have any queries beyond this, please feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you at any point of time. Further, uh, stay tuned for upcoming tutorials. In case you are not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and uh, help me uh, create more tutorials for you. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.